Okay, but see, this is what I wanted to know, though, because y'all was so young. How do y'all even get put on, like, you know what I'm saying, even get in position like that? We had everybody, big cousins and big homies, and our era was the era of, like, say no to drugs, you know what I'm saying, to the point of using them. So I, I, I really can't explain it, but I can, but we all just had a mindset about getting money. Because like I say, we see, you know, like OG Ant, you know what I'm saying? We see these boys doing what they doing, and like we got, like I say, we got kin folks that's doing their thing, you know, so we started out at, at the level, and we could have went to these certain kin folks and got a pack. Well, we didn't do that. Hmm. We, we wanted to get everything on our own, like, yeah. Go out there with $20. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yeah, this, him. <laughs> one man, one day, I'm, hey, man, we got, nigga had a little something, man. I'm like, ask him, man, you, he know, get to the block, had a couple of little, little, little things, and he, where you get them from? Tell him, woo, woo. He like, the shit. Tell that nigga, I need a half. <laughs> what? I said, nigga, that's like nine grand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, like nigga. One half. Look, I know. Look, <laughs> yeah, I know. Look, so I'm yeah. like, nigga, <laughs> what, yeah, what, what I mean? But you understand, like, okay. Wait, wait, wait. wait. You was how old at this time on this? About 16. 15, 16. Yeah, man. Like, yeah. Yeah. Okay, who was first out of y'all to jump out there? Um, Will. We Will. probably jumped out there at the same time, but see, Will, yeah, I got, he got history in different areas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You like, know, his, his grandmother lived on Wilmington in Sunnyside, so he yeah. got big cousins, you know, so, you know, you know he was make, making moves, doing this little thing, yeah. and um, but we, like I said, we all stemmed out of clothing. Yeah. So it's like, once we touch bases back, we do, he doing what he doing, I'm doing what I'm doing, now we doing this together. Mm. Let's get it, you know, know what I'm saying? Right. But I probably yeah. think like, he probably jumped out before me, cause. Yeah, I'm a little older, so. You know what I'm saying? So I, I was like, yeah, because, it was, I feel like Trey and boys in the hood, and he, <laughs> mama dropped them off, cause we had moved to Broadway Square. Mm -hmm. And uh, I went to Milby like my first, uh, freshman in high school so later that year we moved back to South Park I'm seeing like I'm around all this shit like but I'm playing ball and shit people want me to go a whole different way yeah. I get back to the hood like they got what <laughs> huh yeah. they got us <laughs> so <laughs> so hey that it was like shit like I'm back like yeah man but yeah more, my introduction was more so like uh, pretty much how I got connected to Diz and uh, C No Pappy. Because, man, when you say Buy Me Boys, a lot of people just think about us that rap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nah, this Buy Me Boys that ain't never touched the mic. I mean, Die Hard Real Cats. You know what I'm saying? Ziggy, Lil Eddie, Big Al, you know, like yeah. we were all homies. Just when the rap game jumped off, we was the ones. Mm -hmm. But. Back to what I'm saying, it's like, before any of that, I got a big cousin named Henry. They know him as Boo. Boo, and C knows a big cousin, Kirby D, which was like the pioneer body in boy, <laughs> Kirby yeah, yeah. D. Yeah, yeah. Got, they was best got, friends. Yeah. Now, Dez got two big cousins, Derek and Damon. You know I'm saying Thug. <laughs> we call them Thug. So my big cousin and... All they big cousins went to Woodson together, mm. you know, went to school together. So, like, when we at the park and everything, this is how I cut into, you know, they cut into mm. uh, Dez and nothing. Now, we, they little cousins, we playing football, we wrestling, for all doing all that together. So, uh, they actually, <laughs> long time ago we were little, they actually called themselves starting a, uh, a little rap group. That's where BBS really came from. Mm. Botany base station <laughs> at our house. So, you know, that, that didn't last too long. But they main thing was, is why I followed them around was hooping, man. You know, we wanted to play basketball. 
they crib and David, man, our partner David, I don't, don't want to leave him out. Yeah. He our age, but he was so cold with that ball, like the big dudes would pick him up. Mm. So we would follow Kirby and him, my cousin Boo, to Rose, Rose Elementary to hoop, Lowe Elementary School, hoop in the back of the school, and then Cloverland Park. You know, that's a, then we done built our little, little homemade goals in the dead end. So it started out with that, man. And that's how, like, the big cousin introduced all the little cousins to each other. You know what I mean? So, you know, and I want to just give a big shout out to my cousin Boo. Like, he, uh, you know, he never got in the game. He never did nothing, you know. And I think that's a misconception people have, that if you wasn't a hustler, you wasn't this, you wasn't real. But this the dude, when I had problems and couldn't handle somebody, mm. that's who I had to go get. So I ain't letting nobody tell me about, about you not being a hustler or being none of that real dude. So Kirby, older than me, and, um, you know, he jumped in the game. He doing his thing, you know. You know, they got older brothers and older people in their family that was, Gangsters, you know, doing their thing. So, Kirby, when he saw me like coming to the block and shit, he like him, him and my cousin, best, like was best friends, man. I got pictures of them at graduation together in elementary school. You feel me? So when he see me, he like, man, this what you gonna do? Hmm. I got you. <laughs> Come on, I got you. So from there, it just wasn't no looking back, man. You know, and, and he go the same cousins, the family, and it just. He just went out there, and, and another thing that I say was a, a powerful element of the Botnik boys being noticed. If you notice, like, young kids, right, if you get five or six young kids that's around each other for four or five years, the, ch the, the child, it's like a love that they're going to have for each other just because they kids and they innocent. Mm -hmm. And I think that by us being so young, that's what it was. It was just a whole, it wasn't about the money. It wasn't about none of that. Because when people saw us, they saw the Bobby boys. The whole team at Cribbit would be like, man, we're than having a game, man. I'm up here piled the new Jays out. What y'all, what's up? Mm. You know, he, he going to make sure we all go. And we'll be like, man, just grab me a pair. All right, man, but you better give me my money when I come to the block. You know what I'm saying? But everything we did, man, I think it was by us being so young and, and like, embracing that we're going to do everything together when we pull out, when we step out, we did it together. You know what I'm saying? It was like a genuine love, you know what I'm saying, that we mm. had a brotherhood, you know. Real brotherhood. Real talk. And when he say Paul, it's active back. Yeah, Paul active back. Mm. Yeah, yeah. This back in early 90s, is like, yeah. Kirby actually made Paul popular, man. Yeah. Little Kirby, every day, he going to buy a pair of tennis, pair of sweats, t-shirt, and a cap from Paul every day. Mm. Every day, you know. I mean, it's bad that he was open that early in the game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah this one people didn't know not, too much about it. Yeah, we was <laughs> in a school because Paul used to, uh, like, they get anything in there that's black and white because it's all like from White Sox to L.A. Kings. Anything new, black and white, he gonna pay somebody and be like, "Hey, I got this," and like, cause that's how we walk. How did y'all come up with that? With that whole thing, like, shit, we black and white. Mm, I'm gonna good, be real. I'm gonna be real question, about man. it. Okay. Yeah. The first thing was, <laughs> uh, no, Uncle Smudge painted the bins black and white, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, not too long after that, uh, Courtney had got a Riviera. You know what I mean? So, you know, we'd be riding around. He got to put his swingers on it. You know what I'm saying? We'd be riding around. And, you know, the white insides was the thing then. But, like, we so little just to have a car. Yeah. We so we would always be like, boy, you put some white insides in your man. Mm. It'll be, you know. And before you know it, he threw the white in it. Dez came with the 9-8, black and white. Will came with the air dog, black and white. Gator came with the rip, black and white. <laughs> And it was just like Pappy had the park. But yeah, Pappy pulled the park out black, black and white. And it's just and we just you know, we had in our mind that, you know, we sitting in white inside, we want white t shirts, mm -hmm. white caps, mm -hmm. <laughs> black dickies, black guests, man. That just became the thing, man. We did. <laughs> this shit crazy, bro. How y'all was that young just putting that together like that. Man, yeah. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston.